Hey Scorpio, it's time for your monthly love reading for the month of July. I hope you're doing great, sending you much love and many blessings, and a terrific month up ahead. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like, and turn your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week. If you're looking for a live tarot card reading between now and the end of August, you just call up as much as you want and you say things are heating up and you'll get your reading discounted. It's a live reading from my psychics and tarot card readers. There are toll free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada and India. If you're looking for a personal love reading with me, you can only book it through my website which is listed down below. Go to products and tarot card readings. All those readings are discounted as well. Scorpio, I love you. Let's see what we've got for July. For Scorpio, I call upon my angels, I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. For Scorpio, when it comes to love for the month of July, what are you manifesting, Scorpio? Something. Scorpio, please, when it comes to love. Wow. Okay. Signs I'm seeing are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer. You're manifesting something here. What is it? Or somebody's manifesting something. I don't know. It's like, it looks like to me like you're manifesting something here. It feels like Scorpio, you've already fought all your battles. And you're gathering up all the swords and you're free to go in the month of July. It's going to be different for all of you, right? Overall, it doesn't have to be just with love. In the recent past, we have the three of swords. There's some kind of heartache here. Something that you were waiting for. What is this, Scorpio? Here you are. Mm hmm could have been this king of wands here um, that you were waiting to actually make you an offer here I feel there was some kind of confusion maybe the both of you felt the same way but nobody knew how to kind of say it you both want the ten of cups together that's for sure Let's see. The Five of Cups in the now, okay? So, it's about decisions that were made in the past that didn't come out so great, disappointments, okay? Maybe you're not happy where you're at, Scorpio, but there's two cups standing behind you. I think you know who you want. And why is my nose getting itchy? The Five of Cups for Scorpio. Somebody you've been holding on to. Somebody you keep thinking about over and over and over and over and over again. It's nonstop. Oh my God, Scorpio, sorry. Things are hidden right now. There's hidden emotions. Everything is not clear. But there's love here. Somebody wants to come towards you. Someone's just waiting for the right time to tell you how they feel. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're waiting for something. Oh, okay. Okay. So, there's going to be some kind of get-together. Some kind of celebration in the month of July. 
or a coming together with you and your person, there's going to be a conversation, a true conversation about how the two of you feel about one another. How you're both lacking, how you both see each other as wish fulfillment and want to move forward. Scorpio, this is crazy. For those of you that may be married, I think your marriage is going to go crashing down. Love is being offered to you, and it may be by somebody who's already divorced as well, may have children like you, okay? But it's a wish fulfillment here, and it brings a lot of healing. The Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? You want to sneak off and do something, or somebody wants to sneak off and do something to be with somebody who they've got feelings for. I feel I'm talking to a Scorpio that's not happy in the situation that you're in. The Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here in the hidden position? Somebody was sending a message. Somebody's saying something. Um, this communication is going to happen really fast, and it's about wanting to get married, wanting to come together here with this Queen of Wands. Or they come off as the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Now, this may be too much for your person all at once because they're going to have to make a decision, and they're going to have to give to this to have a victory. The Lovers is here. Okay. Somebody's going to be listening to their intuition here. And they're going to be thinking logically, not from the heart space. They're going to want to see first what happens, especially uh, Scorpio, if you are already married. They don't want to commit to anything until something changes here. You may be also, I'm going to say it a different way, that you want to communicate how you feel, how you see a future with this person. This person's going to get a little stressed out about moving forward because they've got their wall up. Plus their work may be very important to them. Okay, but this is your soulmate, this Empress. And there's a brand new chapter here in love. Truth, honesty, loyalty, celebration here. This is all hidden from you right now. I'm sure it's going to come out again in your reading. So, we have the Page of Cups here. Why is the Page of Cups here in the near future? The Page of Cups, please. It's a very youthful energy. Could be this Virgo who's single. This person's tired of being um, single and alone. They have a decision to make between two. Oh, look at that. That came out again. So it's them. The Two of Cups is here. Wow. With the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel as soon as this communication comes out about how somebody feels, things start moving really, really fast here. And... I don't know. For some reason, I feel like it's meant to be for you, Scorpio. I feel you're finally coming together with your soulmate here, who you're supposed to be with. For you, the Six of Swords, I feel you're leaving what no longer works for you. You may also be taking a trip. The Six of Swords, please, in the month of July, in regards to love, why is it here for Scorpio? Yeah, I you're going towards a Virgo here. The Ten of Cups. 
Phil, you've been waiting for a long time to be happy. The Three of Cups is here. There's some kind of reunion, celebration here. The Six of Swords, please. Wow. Okay. The King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, the Page of Swords. Scorpio, you may be trying to get more information on this person before you make a move. The Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, please. Why is the Six of Swords here? Caught it. Yes, this person's at a distance from you. It's the Ace of Wands. I just saw it. Yeah card down. I'm going to go get it. There's a brand new beginning for you and this person. Tell me more about this new beginning. The Ace of Wands, please. The Emperor. So you're getting your Emperor here. Okay. Secretly, this person sees a future with you. They want to get married here. And I've got the king and the queen of wands here. With this love, it's an end of a burden. It's end of betrayal, heartache. There's passion here. Okay. There's a little bit of a weight, but I'm seeing here that with the wheel of fortune and true love and the three of pentacles, it's marriage for a lot of you. Judgment for your person. Why is judgment here for Scorpio in the month of July for Scorpio's person? For Scorpio's person, why is judgment here? Somebody may be waiting for an outcome in the marriage or a divorce. They get their wish. The world is here and then they, it comes to a completion and then they can move towards you. The Page of Cups. the Tower, and the Six of Wands. So it's... They want a victory with you, Scorpio. The Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. So we go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords for your person. Okay, so listen, I'm seeing here that um, there is the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, like living together, having family and everything. I see an equal give and take. But I also see Scorpio not completely sure, right? Or maybe they're not completely sure. They're going to speak to you. Somebody may want to not be in the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may want their independence here. It could be you as well. could be too, Scorpio, that this person has options, or maybe you do, 
okay? And somebody may decide to have a brand new beginning somewhere else, and make a different decision. I have to say it, sorry. The Two of Cups is here, because somebody really wants to manifest true love. I mean, there may be already somebody in their life who, you know, you feel that way about or they feel that way about. Maybe it hasn't come together yet. That's not for all of you. That's for a small group of you. The Two of Swords in the month of July. What is this crossroads that Scorpio is facing? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here for Scorpio? You're at crossroads. Are you afraid that you're going to be at crossroads? There's going to be a decision that you're going to have to be, make when it comes to love and possibly uh, traveling towards somebody that you're very passionate about. The King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and the world. So somebody's coming towards you quite passionately here. If somebody um, who you already know or who you have past lives with. Okay? There's been a lot of heartache here in this situation and distance. I do see there being clear communication. I do see that there's healing here. I do see that somebody wants to come towards you. They don't feel great about what has happened. They want you. And they're going to communicate to you that they want to offer you something substantial here. Yeah. In the outcome, I have temperance, I have the knight of pentacles, I have the sun, and I have the fool. So why is that here? I took them because they all came out together, even though they were extra cards. So it's like being patient here, uh, going with the flow, taking things slow. And I feel it takes you towards your happiness in this brand new beginning here. Tell me more about temperance in the month of July. Tell me more about temperance. Yeah, with this new beginning, you're leaving your past behind, Scorpio. And you're leaving heartache behind. And any kind of third party situations. You're choosing to fight for your happiness here. What's unknown to you is that you're going to land up with your person. Yes. The Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands going towards the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's a single mom for some of you, or it's a single parent. Flip the roles as you need to. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, whatever. There's going to be a lot of healing here. Okay. I feel there's a victory here. I feel finally... Somebody can uh, put down all their emotional baggage that they've been carrying for a long time, whether it's you or your person. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses.